Hi, this is Roger from PistolSnipe.com and what I wanted to do on this short video was give you my kind of review, first impressions on these Meprolite uh, uh, Mepro FT self-illuminated night sights. And it is a little bit different sighting system than maybe you have ever seen before. And I will show you here, I, I, they're, they're kind of expensive as are many uh, night sights. I got them on a Black Friday uh, discount, oh, 30 or 40% off is pretty good. Uh, they come in green or red, I chose the green. And it came for Glock 7, or for Glock, and uh, this is a Glock 17, or uh, I think XD was like $10 more. I'm sure they'll have other uh, you know, guns available, if, if not by now, uh, soon. Uh, do a safety check, uh, magwell is empty. I'll look at the chamber, finger in there, nothing in there. Check it again. Looking finger. Okay, gun is clear. And the thing about these, this sight system is you leave the front post in place, the old post, you won't use it, you won't see it. The, uh, the sight system is uh, self-contained in the back. It's kind of a combination. It's uh, try to hold it to the camera and I'll try to have some better shots as well. When you have it centered correctly, there is a uh, a dot inside of a circle you place that underneath your your sight or underneath your target like you would the, the front sight post ordinarily and and you're on target is that if that dot is in the circle now one of the reasons i got these is to see if it would help uh, old eyes you know if it'd be something easier to uh to see now i also have some other sites that I've, systems i've tried i've done some reviews on and so far i mean i think i i think i like them I, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more in just a minute but to uh, give you, I guess, a little bit of background, this, uh, this gun had the, uh, the standard uh, plastic uh, white outline rear sight. I used this sight pushing tool. Uh, I'll try to find a, a link to it or something. There, there's a number of them out there. Pretty simple uh, tool with the Glock plastic sights. It pushed out easily. Uh, you just take the you know, take gun apart, uh, feel field strip, and put the slide in here. And I protected it with just a little bit of cardboard here just so it wouldn't scratch up the slide. Some of these come with uh, some little pads that stick on there. Uh, this is just... Uh, uh, double thickness of from a, a, a Mountain Dew, a 12 pack container. Now I will say that, that it must be Mountain Dew. You cannot use uh, Pepsi, Coke, and definitely not Diet Coke. Will not work. And obviously I'm just kidding. Uh, anything along those lines, uh, just to protect the slide from getting scratched up. Uh, with, uh, with XD, I, when I've used this before, I got it for uh, an XDS. And yeah, I had to put some pressure on it, some torque on it to use it, and you definitely could scratch something up. Uh, the Glock came out real easy, but I would still use uh, something to protect your slide. But the, uh, the the new slide goes in. It's a two-piece system. Again, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but it's like a, a wedge slides in there, and there are some set screws. They give you this uh, handy-dandy little tool. It's uh, it's it's not uh, it's not Allen. It's, uh, it's like a Torx bit, I believe. And uh, when you when you tighten these down it, it tightens up against the top of the notch now they tell you in the instructions and i did not do it because i like to test things first to use some loctite 609 green now i did a little uh, investigation online loctite's got a just a practically too many uh they're different glues and uh, i read that 609 might require heat to get it out didn't like that idea. Uh, so looks like maybe 290 might be better, but uh, I'm not making a recommendation. I haven't tried it. Um, certainly, if you, if you shoot a little bit, I would you know, check the torque on this. I would almost be inclined to think maybe a little bit of uh, the, the blue thread Loctite on the, uh, on the little set screws instead, but I don't know. Because like I say, if you uh, slide that glue in the, in, the, in the actual sight notch, uh, again, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a gap underneath it because it tightens upward against the sight. Uh, at the bottom, it's not going to work. It's going to have to be kind of on the uh, the, the angled uh, top part is the only place it's actually going to grab. So uh, just kind of a note there. And like I say, I did not do that. I uh, may at some point, but I did not yet. So that being the case, again, how do I like it? Well, uh, I've got some outdoor video of when it's, uh, well, it was sunny, got cloudy, but still bright. Uh, during the daytime, uh, you're outside, it's like, whoa, it's like almost, you know, put on the sunglasses, that thing is bright.
Uh, I will uh, shut off the lights here, try to give you an idea of what it's like. And, uh, and again, I, I maybe try to hold a little bit steadier here for you. And of course, obviously with the camera here for the video, I've got a lot of light in the room. So I don't know if that's really helpful or not, trying to show it to you what it's like here in the dark. Obviously, getting a little bit of light back off the camera um, the screen uh, to give you not, but just trying to give you an idea of what it's like in the dark. And of course, I'm trying to see, do it all backwards as I'm holding it and looking at the lens. So uh, that, that's what it is. You know, I guess my first impression is that it is uh, easier to use than uh, the other sites that I have. Again, you know, if you've got a pair of like, reading glasses on, okay, it's fantastic, but then you don't necessarily need them. Uh, as far as other night sites, I find them brighter. Uh, it just, uh, you know, I think the more you use it, kind of like anything else, the more you use it, the more you get used to it. It does take just a little bit of adjustment to be thinking about that that centered uh, dot in the circle, but it really is pretty quick to uh, to acquire and to kind of get used to, and I, and I do like it. Uh, at some point, maybe I'll try to determine which way I can actually shoot better. But the bottom line is, you know, it's going to be, I mean, for me at least, it's still going to be fuzzy. You know, so that's the whole question is uh, it, it's a it's a fuzzy dot, but it gets uh, it gets fuzzy and uh, it, it's brighter in such a way that uh, it, it seems to be better than standard, you know, night sites or even standard some of the, the daytime sites that I've got uh, just to try to make things clearer. Now, as maybe you're like me, if you have bright light outside, yeah, you know, that really the, the, a lot of light can really uh, overcome a lot of uh, you know, bad eyesight, so to speak. It's when the light starts to dim, maybe you're indoors, uh, at, whether, you know, just with uh, some incandescent lighting or something around, uh, things can get kind of iffy. Uh, you're outside, you know, either in dawn or dusk, and things get iffy. Uh, at night, you know, you know, everything's out the window. But you add enough light, things work. So, uh, and that's one thing where maybe with uh, single-handed shooting, <laughs> your, your, your arms maybe just a little bit longer that way than if you've got the, the gun out in front of you might help a little bit too. But, uh, but again, it's going to kind of be one of the kind of your mileage might, may vary as, as to where your eyes are and whether or not uh, it's going to be useful for you uh, or more so than a standard set of sights. But that's the reason I got them. Now, you know, I think uh, putting a nice, uh, you know, red dot or some type of optic on top is going to be even better yet because it works real well on the AR platform for me. But, you know, that's, you know, like basically something about this size going on top. Uh, and, you know, then, then you start getting all kind of holster issues and that sort of thing. If you're actually trying to carry concealed, doesn't really work out that I've seen yet. So what I was looking for was something that would be uh, really not much bigger than uh, anything else that might be on the gun and just give a person with uh, older eyes uh, that little bit of an advantage. So again, I'll, I'll try to have some uh, some you know, different, a couple different lightings here where you can maybe try to get an idea what the sights are supposed to look like. But again, uh, if you don't have reading glasses on, if you got older eyes like I do, um, it, it's it's still blurry. But again, like like this lighting in here now, I look at it and it's uh, I mean, granted, I see just a little bit of blur, a little bit of you know, doubling but I can easily tell when the dot is centered in the circle. I can easily tell when I'm on target. Uh, is, I mean, because I'm at a, a situation in my life where there's no way in the world that without some type of uh, corrective lenses can I see, you know, they, you know, you're supposed to focus on the front sight. I kind of get that front sight in focus. And this is what I'm trying to overcome. Uh, you know, you can go out or go to the range and you can have all kinds of special glasses, whether they just be reading glasses or whether they be special shooting glasses and overcome it. But the, the bottom line is, well, you know, what about, uh, what about a situation on the street, uh, self-defense situation in the home? You know, you don't have time to fiddle around for glasses. You just need to be able to draw and, and take care of the situation. So that's what I was looking for. And again, these, uh, these Mepro lights, uh, the, at the time, I could only get them, uh, you know, from Meprolite themselves. Of course, they're the ones that had the big discount. So I, I've looked for coupons, and uh, and I'm sure they'll be discounted as time goes on. You won't have to pay fullest price. At least I hope so. But they do have a couple different styles, a couple different guns. I'm sure that's going to uh, going to change. So if you have questions or you know comments, you know, I'll try to. If you, if, I don't know if you're viewing this uh, video, you can click on the link. 
uh, from YouTube to go to the website, the blog. I'll try to have comments open there so you can ask questions or make comments. If you've tried them, certainly like to have you uh, comment on what you found and even your preference on red versus green. So, you know, the, the green is what I chose and I don't have the red to, to compare it to, but uh, so far I'm, I'm happy that I picked the green. So anyway, that's it for this video. Again, the Meprolite FT uh, self-illuminated night sights. Uh, they call it fiber and tritium. So, I mean, there's the, there's the tritium in there, uh, but there's some, the fiber on the top. And again, I just show it there is going to pick up ambient lighting as well. So uh, leave your front sight in place. Pretty easy on a Glock at least. I think it'd be harder on the XD, but I won't swear to it. Uh, Glock is real easy to change. And uh, your mileage may vary also on the... Uh, on the Loctite, so, uh, but just be aware of that. That's what the instructions say, but might wanna check it out before you do that. So that's it for this video. We'll see you next time.